Um, my name is Manoj Govindaya. I'm the Director of Family Detention Services at the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services, or RAISIS. These families are mostly mothers with their children. Um, the families are mostly coming from El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. These countries have been recognized as having some of the highest murder rates in the world. They are overrun with transnational criminal organizations, gangs, if you will. And these organizations are threatening these families. The detention center that we mainly work at is the Carnes Family Detention Center. We are there almost every day of the week with a team of um, RAISA staff and Pro Bono Project staff. And, um, you know, what's outrageous about the detention of these families is the conditions are terrible. I mean, these families are in prison. They are watched everywhere they go. They have very little freedom of movement. Um, it's very difficult to access lawyers. It's just, it, it's a really terrifying process. And, you know, these moms are there with their very young children who don't understand why they're detained, who don't understand what's going on. And it's our responsibility as attorneys, as concerned members of the public, and as parents, siblings, loved ones, um, to go into these detention centers and educate these moms on their rights. My name is Fatima Menendez. I am a senior staff attorney here with Raices in San Antonio and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. The children's program is the largest program in Raices and we deal with unaccompanied children that travel to the United States from um, outside. Usually it's from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Mexico. They are coming because of government corruption in their home countries. They're coming because of gang recruitment, because of the drug wars, domestic violence. Um, there are a lot of cases of abuse within families and households. Every case that, uh, primarily through the children's program, a lot of the, there's a lot of cases where the children have suffered trauma, um, whether it's at the hands of their parents actually being the abusers or at gangs that were trying to recruit them because they are of a young age. Um, and so many of the cases that we encounter have suffered a lot of trauma and they're all pretty memorable. But I think just seeing somebody that comes uh, from, you know, from their home country, from El Salvador or from Mexico that is escaping and fleeing violence and coming to the United States and helping them throughout the entire process to where we first help them get a visa, helping them um, then get a work permit where they can then get a driver's license, they can graduate from high school and eventually becoming a resident. Those are really, um, you know, the ones that you get to see all the way through that are the most memorable because you know that you've really impacted their life and helped them create a, a better life here.